I did it again. I started talking and doing crap, and it wasn't even freaking recording. Hi, my name is Josh. My username is Spencer. What would Josh do? And this is going to be my review on the CM9 ROM for the HTC EVO 3D. This is all thanks to Toast CFH and the signs of my team. Hey, what are you doing? No! Whoa, not what I was trying to do. I'm going to start this review out by saying I absolutely love what the signs of my team does. I have it set towards I can press volume down to unlock the device because with the CDO extended battery, Pressing the power button can be quite difficult sometimes. So to beat that, in the signs of my settings, you can easily make it towards pressing volume down, weights the device, and then you just enter in your lock code or, or whatever you have set. I'm gonna turn down the white balance a little bit. Now the phone's a little bit easier to see. The pretty cool thing about Signs of My 9 is if you have a lock code like me to keep people from accessing your phone, you can still swipe down, you can still swipe. All right, apparently it doesn't work when you have a lock code, so I'm gonna go ahead and disable it real quick. There we go, I've disabled it. If you don't have a lock code, and you just have the normal slide to unlock, you can actually still bring down this bar and check your notifications. And I'm assuming if you had one, you could click on it. And with Signs of 9, you can simply swipe away the notifications. And if you want to go to your Wi-Fi settings real quick, instead of going through the all the menu settings, Well, you can't long press on it to go to that corresponding setting unless you have the device unlocked, but you can still click on it and turn stuff on and off. Well, I just turned my Wi-Fi off. Now I gotta turn it back on. See, there we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say the two things that don't work are 4G and the camera. Now, unlike the XDA ports of Signage by 9, the unofficial ones, the camera doesn't work at all. It just says can't connect to camera. But with this ROM, you can see that it still, you know, kind of picks stuff up a little bit, but it's really green. So that's still a work in progress. Obviously, it's pretty good progress because it's better than not being able to connect to the camera at all. Now that brings me to the face unlock. Under security and lock screen settings, you can set face unlock, but since the camera's so messed up, instead of using the front camera, it actually tries to pick up the back camera. So I'll put my hand right there. See, you can still make out that I'm putting a hand in front of the camera, but it's not using the front one. Again, this is because of HTC. This is HTC's fault. They have not released the drivers for the camera, and they're still waiting on the source. I'm not a developer, so I might be saying that completely wrong, and I do apologize. But you get your normal ice cream sandwich launcher of five screens. With Cyanjumon, you can actually customize that and make that three, seven, or whatever you'd like. And if you want to change all these icons up here and you want to make more than four or if you want to change 4G to Bluetooth or whatever, you just go to system settings, system, widget buttons, and here's where you check the ones you do want and you don't want. Like you can actually set your music. Now when I bring this down, I have my music controls. And if you have too many, you have to scroll left and right. Now since 4G doesn't work, I'll go ahead and take away the 4G setting real quick. All right, now it should be perfect. There shouldn't have to be any that need to be moved. Now, that's obviously not right, so I can go ahead and change the order of those buttons under widget button order. Now, I want this one to be on top of that one. And if you're accidentally hitting Wi-Fi, but you're trying to hit sound, you can just simply move those around. Now, when I bring this down, you'll see that I have left, right, and then play. And then you can just skip if you had more music on here. You get the idea. It's pretty awesome stuff. That's another thing is 3D. 3D doesn't work. But to be completely honest with you, I have not used 3D since I got this device. I think the last time I stopped using 3D was the first week I got it. It was a headache and I just didn't, it didn't adapt to me. I don't like it. I do believe that that's the Signs of Mod music player. No, it's just a normal one. Signs of Mod is coming up with their own music app though. I mean, this is Ice Cream Sandwich, so you have your normal widgets over here. Instead of holding down and choosing your widgets. And of course you get live wallpapers, and the one that it's on right now is the stock one, I believe. You do get access to Google Chrome. But 
Flash does not work with Google Chrome. As you can see right there. But with the normal ice cream sandwich browser, you do get access to Flash Player. I'm going to go ahead and show you the CM9 dialer right there. It, it uses a T9 interface. If you start typing in the letters of someone's name, it'll automatically pop that contact up there. Obviously, I don't want to show you all my contacts for the people's privacy, but you can just quickly type in what here? Really? Wow. Okay, I did find a quick example. If I press W for 9, it shows Walmart money card. If you have more than one contact, you can press this one, and it brings down all of them. Great, now I have to blur all those out. This is my current setup. I'm able to control anything from my Transformer Prime thanks to the DSLR controller. This cable is leading up to the camera and I got my little music bullet here. All right, let's finish this video. I can preview the notifications now because I have some. All I gotta do is swipe it away and it's gone. Another benefit to Ice Cream Sandwich is when you hold down the home button, it brings up all your recent apps and you just slide them out of the way to close them. Now I have no running apps, so there's no need for a task manager or anything to kill them off. Another thing that I really like about this ROM is the battery life. I have an extended battery by CDO at 4000 mAh, but you could still have great battery life with a stock battery with this ROM. Go to battery, and right now I've been using it for 6 hours and I'm at 84%. I'll put up a little thing now that shows you the battery life I got after installing it with a full battery and then waiting for it to die for the very first time. It is amazing. That's going to be pretty much it for this video. This is what we're Josh doing. I'm out. Mr. Guitar Man here. I can't do nothing like him. That's the end of the video. So if you want to go, see ya. Bye. I don't have to pay rent this month and I have enough money to get the Galaxy Nexus and every source out there is saying April 15th. If it happens, you can bet I'll be at the Sprint store and that'll be mine. Actually, the wife has the Evo Shift, so we're gonna get it for her. But I'm gonna make videos on rooting and, you know, when Sajima comes out with the ROM for it. You know, I'll make an unboxing and a rooting and stuff like that. And uh, then, then I'll go ahead and save up and get another one for me. And uh, I'm gonna have to get that CDO 3800 extended battery for the Galaxy Nexus. Unless, you know, something better than the Galaxy Nexus comes out while I'm waiting to get it for me. But yeah, I will have it April 15th. I'm off that day, in fact, so I'll be at the Sprint store the night before or something. I'll do whatever it takes to get that phone day one. I'll still have this phone whenever I get one for me to make videos on. I learn my lesson, no matter how bad I need it. I won't sell phones, cause man, it comes with biting the butt. I don't have the Epic 4G anymore, cause I gave it to my stepdad. Uh, I sold my Transform and I had to go get another one, and that's about it. So whenever I get the Galaxy Nexus April 15th for the wife, I'm gonna use her Evo Shift, and I'm gonna install One Love's UK eROM and a bunch of other ROMs on the Evo Shift. And uh, I'll probably put my service on that and use that since as a keyboard. So that's it. This is what we're Josh doing. I'm finally out. It's pretty cool. I got my Transformer Prime showing me what my camera's seeing. That's awesome. DSLR controller by Chainfire. Get it.